good morning guys how you doing steve-o in the b-lab here uh messing with virgins messing with horny virgins can you imagine that a horny virgin really steve-o um yeah i've got there's three have not hatched yet these three here i kind of like the wooden cages um for ease of putting them on the bar. The Jay-Z Beezies, the Jay-Z Beezy Babies, right? Uh, they just slide and flip around. It's just hard to get in a fixture. But with the, with the, I'm using these just to hatch them. Uh, I went to Martin, and Martin gave me these queens. And... He let me have one of his foam pads. This is just, you know, bed foam, I'm I'm guessing. And he made a, uh, he happened to have a wind chime with a right size pipe that he liked to put yourselves in. He uses JZBC cups and they drop right in. And when they're ready to go, he can put these in the incubator. And this is how he does them in the incubator. So I got this, and put the, you can put the cells right in there, and then you can, I put them in that cooler right down there, that little cooler, and I nuked a, I nuked a dish towel for about two minutes. I wetted the, next, the dish towel, and I put it in the nuke and, and nuked it a little bit. It was plenty hot, and I put it in the bottom of that, of that cooler, and that's the way I transported them over to base camp. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm marking. I'm gonna try something different. I'm marking these queens. These are already marked. All all of these. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I don't know if I I made up nukes yesterday. I installed one queen uh, at my other yard. Uh, there was a there was a uh, a queen didn't make it back from her mating flight. So I took a mark queen. And put her in a JZB, JZBZ uh, cage. Uh, I made some queen candy with some. Uh, I don't really, I don't know if I like this queen candy idea at all. What a pain in the ass it is to make up. You got to use uh, clear Crisco, I mean, uh, uh, you know, high fructose corn syrup to make it with powdered sugar. You can use regular powdered sugar. Uh, Matthew uses regular powdered sugar, or you can grind your own in a coffee mill and do that to make your own powdered sugar. But uh, Martin has good luck with just mini marshmallows. Uh, I think maybe that's what I'll try to use instead of fooling with this candy. is a mess to make. It's a mess. I got still got powder residue all over in the B lab here. It's a freaking mess. But anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how I've been. Uh, this is a no touchy, no touchy deal on your queens to transfer them from from the wooden cage uh, to here. Now this 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 same foam. I'm using double duty on this foam here. I'm used flipping it over, and now I've got a nice landing pad here. And I've got you've seen me make these in other videos. This is just an old veil. This is the bottom part of an old veil see how flexible it is here it uh and then i cut a little sliver of pvc pipe um uh, i don't know the od of this pipe it looks like a two inch it's a two inch od on the pipe whatever that is i think that's you know measured up i think that's inch and a quarter pipe uh, uh the id of this pipe yeah, it looks like an inch, uh, inch and a half. Looks like inch and a half pipe on the ID. So that's what I did. And then I just folded the material over, pinched it up. I pinched it up and wrapped some bowstring material around that to hold it. And then I used Gorilla Glue and I started spotting it with Gorilla Glue. That thing's held together really nice. Um... Uh, so you could use super glue too to hold that in place. And then I glued the edge a little bit. And you'll see I beveled that edge here. I beveled it, kind of make a little knife edge on it. 
uh, be careful you don't pinch your pinch your legs uh, the Queen's legs it's really thin I see it's only like a quarter inch thick and then I beveled it before I glued it and then I went back over with a wire wheel and buffed off the extra uh, netting after the glue setup so you've got a nice little cheap device you can buy the I think the man lake sells these things for $24 oh really $24 wow uh, this this was made for about two cents okay because I had I had the material I had all the materials except the glue and so I made several uh, you can see here I've made several of them uh, yeah and that netting, I made one with a little bigger netting. Here's even one out of a, a, a drink. I think that came off a Gatorade bottle, uh, that one there. Uh, I did make one with a little bigger material from the, with the clothing store, and it was too big. The, the bees were coming right through with the mesh, but this is a perfect mesh. So if you have an old veil you're fixing to throw in the dumpster, save the the old this came from a square square uh square veil and it had all this material on the bottom end of it and the top where your helmet goes through but the the side walls on that square veil were or were screen bigger screen so anyway yeah uh i've got that so i have these pipes too i bought some more pipes i think i bought a dozen i gave some away to martin uh, I rigged these up. They came, it comes with a foam and it comes with this foam plug. But the plug's a bitch to get in and out. So what I did is took some B50 bowstring material, doubled it, passed it through with a needle, and then I tied a double knot and then I melted it. And then I pulled it back where it's snug in there. Now you have a little handle on here which you can you know you can see it and you can just shove that pipe that plug in there so put your plug in and uh take your foam out when you're ready to catch a bee after he's in here this i bought this down there too at hobby lobby it's called paint marker they got a ton of these and every flavor you want this is kind of hot pink uh it's got a got a ball bearing in it yeah it's got a uh, ball bearing in it you shake it up good and then while, while you are got your cage there you can test drive it before you try to stick a queen with it just shake it and then push it down and then tap it a few times to make sure your paint's flowing and you just lightly touch your queen here just lightly touch her see a few times don't not a lot of pressure you don't want to hurt her and uh that's how i mark them so let's just let one out real quick and i'll show you how i uh, how i catch her okay guys just let her out open the door she just walked right out just as pretty as you please you see i've already marked this one but with the beauty of this is quarter inch See, you let her kind of get in the center here, and you might, and you just push down a little bit. Don't you don't have to smash her; just push down. Right there's her, her thorax. You can let her up, readjust, whatever, and then you just, right there, boom. There she is. Just tap, tap, tap. She's done. Let, leave her under there. Let her walk around. Right. Now I'm gonna have to try to do this somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I got enough. I got enough cages here where I can stack them up. Use it as a camera platform, I guess. Yeah, this may work. I don't know here. Let me see. Yeah, I guess that's gonna work. Yeah, she's just walking around there. So you take your pipe, you take your your foam out, and you just you carefully set that over her. Now she's in in the pipe, right? You let her you let her kind of walk around there and get down toward the curve on the pipe. You 
you can kind of jiggle her down there. Now you shove your foam in there. Now she's walking down the end of the pipe. So you can just take this plug out. You can just take this plug out and uh, set it right there on your cage. Whether this be the hole in your JZBZ or whatever. And she's being stubborn. She doesn't want to walk down. Normally, they just walk right on down. Some of these have a little hole in here. You can blow on it, but I, you know, to force her down. But I don't think blowing and blasting her down through there is a good thing because you could hurt her, slam her up against the back here, and hurt her. So there she goes. She walked right in. And you just put your finger over that. Put your finger over that hole and shove your plug back in there, which is the cell. I'm using I'm using the spent cell, as you can see, as a plug. They fit right in these Jay-Z um, I mean these wooden cages work great. So what the beauty of this is now I can take my with the pipe, I can take and load my candy up introduction candy in the tube um, and close it up lock it down it'll snap together and then I've got just this hit hole here so I can put my tube which I did yesterday I put the tube right up against that hole she walks right in she walks right in no problem snap it go introduce your queen uh, I'm going to put these queens in and let them uh, let them sit in there for. Uh, I'm thinking three weeks. I'll go back in three weeks and inspect and see if the queens uh, came back from their mating flight and they're good to go. That's the way I'm going to run with that. So we'll go out here in a little bit, and uh, let me get let me get squared away here, and uh, we'll go out and install some queens. Um, I'm utilized. I had five. I'm I'm I've got five uh, two framers in stock. I had thirty or forty of them at one time, and I'm thinking about building up some more. Uh, I thought you know just I get rid of the, I get rid of all the twos and just deal with fives, but what you get into when you're just mating queens you're you're utilizing all this material right for making up nukes and you might as well just make a two frame mini uh with standard frames all this foam these small foam uh i seen a guy on youtube he was making these small foam meeting colonies well they sell those at the bee supply house and to me those things it's kind of a joke really because you're you're using those and you're just using them breeding well what happens after the breeding season you got to store all that stuff well what do you got comb on there what are you going to do stick it all in a freezer i guess you could buy an extra freezer but you get to do all that run that or put them on moth crystals and oh i mean it's just a pain in the ass. I I don't see, I don't see that happening with Stevo. No, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to use two frames and five frames. And I'm thinking about making more fives because I can use. I don't have to have that much resources. Just two frames. Put maybe a food frame, and in a uh, frame with brood on it, brood and bees sealed. Most hopefully sealed sealed brood. That stuff that's going to be hatching. What's going to hatch? Nurse bees. They're going to want to take care of virgin mama here till she gets back. And as soon as she gets back, then you can take that those two frames and install them right in another startup hive. You can put them right into a five. Add another frame. Add three more frames. Now you got a five. And another month, month and a half, they're going to blow that out. You can sell that. And I'm thinking about also, Martin and I were talking today, this morning. Uh, 
might go ahead and uh, uh, make those and put that out there. I don't, I don't see anyone on the market offering two, uh, two frame nukes. In Florida, for whatever stupid reason, I'm not sure what the reason is. It just maybe make more money for the state. I don't know. I don't know. But you to be a queen breeder, uh, you have to have a, a special little certificate for that. They got to check your bees, yada, yada. There's none of that. There's none of that selling nukes. And I can sell a queen... I can make a ton of queens. I can graft and make a ton of queens. Two frames of resources. Install a queen when she comes back for a mating flight. Put that thing on the market. Two frame. Two frame nukes. Yeah, I'm thinking $75. Two frame nukes. Yeah. You get a box. You get a mated queen. That's laying. Now isn't that a hell of a lot better to take those two frames out. Stick them in a five. Let them blow that. And then throw them in an 8 or a 10 frame box and let them blow that up. I think that's a lot better way to go. What do you guys think? Add it, add a, something to the comments. Comment, comment. Hell yes. That's the way we roll. I like comments, good or bad. I don't really care. So, that's what Steve-O's doing today. Let me... Uh, let me get suited up out here, throw a veil on, we'll go ahead and install some virgies, some horny virgies. Okay guys, Martin shipped me some pictures, the, the pipe that he made these holes with. And what he's got here is a pipe, he said it came from an aluminum wind, uh, it was a wind chime, this is metal. I don't think this is aluminum, this is regular steel. And you can see he put quite a bevel on that. And then you'll see here, he slid a pipe inside, a piece of uh, solid stock inside the pipe. And that's what he uses to chuck it up in a drill. Looks like he put a set screw here also. Yeah. So you can see he put a good bevel on it. And it's sharp, you got a sharp edge. And then he came on the inside and probably cleaned that up with a rat tail or something and to make a sharp edge. So I don't know how long this edge lasts cutting the foam, but you just lay out a grid pattern. You can see what he did here. He laid out a grid pattern and uh, with a with a felt pen and then he, he drilled it with his homemade tool. So yeah, you can you can have you a nice little uh, carrying deal for yourselves all right now i'm going to go ahead and uh transfer all these girls i got over into cages and uh jzbz cages and we're going to install those Got one girl in the cage. Come on, girl. Come on. Well, this is slower, slower than yesterday when I was doing this. Oh, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go that way. Go this way, girl. Go this way, fool. This one may have the nasty Nancy syndrome, guys. Okay, guys, I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I've got one on the far end down there. And I've got nine. I put them in my little box here. Little, uh, little, nice little sportsman cooler. You can put a warm towel or It's pretty warm today, though. These girls will be fine. So, yeah. 
we'll get into this. There's a queen in that end one there. There's queens in these others, but they're just not fat enough to sell yet. There's one I installed yesterday. She's doing fine. She's running around and there you see she's marked. The bees are already working on the candy. They're already working on the candy. I put my homemade candy in there. These bees are these bees are still in a three-day lockdown because they're they were taken from this yard here. I got to be careful with these sticks for the simple fact this this is Tully netting. This is homemade veil and it's Tully netting. It's a great product. You can look right you can look right through it easily. You can get this stuff. Actually, I got this stuff at a uh, Hobby Lobby in their clothing or their material section It's called Tully Tully netting So somebody with a uh, sewing machine can stitch these up pretty quick. There are two. There are two foot squares what they are and You just make a pocket on each hand to run your string through and this top stretchy band. You can get that stretchy material down there also. So anyway, uh, we're moving along here. There's just very minimal resources in these. Very small amount of, of bees in here. I'm going to take it. This is the drier part of the comb over here. I don't want to smash it into a bunch, but elevate it slightly. And just smash it in. Smash it into the comb to where it holds it. And then of course put it to the inside. This goes quite fast. Here's one that's more robust. This is more ideal. I mean, it's got, you've got brood on here and everything. But they're crying. There's no queen in here. So the girls are crying for a new mama. So that's Steve-O's job, give him a new mama. Yo mama. But you don't want an Obama, you want a yo mama. Here's another nice robust one. These should do very well. I just kind of put it on my knee here, find a spot. Kind of give it a smash in there, make sure that the hole is out where they can get at it. And then of course turn it to the inside.
none of none of these none of these have syrup on them as you can see yet but that's going to happen today i'm going to go and put syrup on everybody There we go, slight upward angle. got one glove on so I can handle these uh, towels. Amatraz towels. Of nectar on a lot of nectar on this side, so I want to put it over here on the pollen side. I'll just pick a dry spot here in the pollen and smash your butt right in there. Okay guys, you get the picture. Uh, I got to do these two and then I got one on the end. So that'll eat up these. That should eat these up. I got a, I think I got a couple more. I've got to locate. That'll end up two, one, yeah. One or two more. The other bees are coming in, see? These bees are coming in checking out these queens. They want mamas. So, get you some horny virgins started, guys. Uh, sunny Florida here, we're cranking. Uh, we're just getting into, uh, what is today? What is this wonderful day? Today's March 10. Today's March 10, so our breeding season has started here in Florida. I know you guys up north have not probably going to get into it till April or so, but we've started, so... We got a little jump start on you guys. All right, see you soon, guys. Make some make some horny virgins. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.